Virgo, what an important month September is going to be for you. It all begins with a new moon in your sign on September 2nd. This new moon is you taking personal responsibility for yourself, your life, how it is turning out, how everything is unfolding. And you might be starting something new that adds to your productivity, to your efficiency, to your sense of self and your, and your authenticity. It is remarkable. This is a serious new moon though. It is opposite Saturn. And if somebody else is holding you back from being the you that you know you want to be and should be, that can turn into a problem. And you'll be addressing that in the month of September, okay? It's kind of like uh, somebody in your seventh house, whether it's a business partner, spouse, personal relationship, client, somebody saying, hey, Virgo, you gotta get real and you gotta take, uh, you know, be absolutely mature about this. And you will either see that as help or a hindrance if you feel that the Saturn person is, is thwarting you or squishing you down, that could become a problem. But if you see the other person as someone who's actually trying to help you excel, then it will be a different story. So know the difference as you navigate this energy. Mars enters Cancer on September 4th, and that puts Mars in your 11th house for the next couple of months. This could be a time where there's more conflict between you and friends. You might also spearhead a humanitarian endeavor or become an advocate for other people in some way. This is a very, very good time to assertively pursue your dreams and aspirations. But remember, you have to have an emotional connection to what you're pursuing. If it is not meaningful to you emotionally, it's just not gonna succeed while Mars is in Cancer. So there must be an emotional connection to what you're pursuing. And if so, it does look like you're going to make great strides in this area. You may also be asked to lead a group in some way, maybe become the leader of a group or organization or take charge in some, in some kind of group activity that's happening around you. Now on September 17th, we enter eclipse season and there is going to be a lunar eclipse in your seventh house of partnership. And this eclipse is conjunct Neptune. And I will tell you, you might be very disappointed disheartened about a business connection because it's also square Jupiter at the top of your chart. So if there is a business connection where you had been blind, you know, you wanted to see the best in this person, but you remained blind to a real flaw, that's going to come out now and you will have to address it. For other Virgos, this could be about magical inspiration, feeling a great sense of fulfillment in a relationship. But if that happens, I think it's more on the personal side than the business side. I am seeing more of a disappointment in, uh, in business uh, energy for you that has to be fixed and, and addressed. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna leave this partnership entirely, but you're going to have to face some truths and be much more realistic about your approach in this relationship dynamic in order for it to work. And you may find that the other person opts out of the relationship. The other person might walk away and say, oh, this isn't really for me. So that is definitely a possibility here. Now on September 22nd, Venus, the planet of harmony and love, enters your third house of communication. And this brings amazing grace to your voice. You will be such an incredible negotiator during this time. So if you have any contract or agreement that you need to negotiate, do it after Venus enters your third house. You will absolutely excel. It is extraordinary energy here for this. It's also going to add a lot of harmony to your relationship with siblings. And you might even take a local trip somewhere to a location that you genuinely love. And maybe even you'll take this trip with a lover, a love interest. So be open to that. And if you are single, there might be someone who captures your attention, who lives right in your own backyard. 